Welcome back. I'm Rick Sanchez. Sometimes the best way to tell a story is through a sidebar. A sidebar is a story that's not directly related to the story, but interesting enough to be told around it. This is such a sidebar. Interesting to note of what's going on right now in the Gulf of Mexico. All the eco ecological damage that could occur as a result of, well, thousands of gallons of uh, oil being spilled into the atmosphere. Well, here's the thing. One of the best things that we can do to try and preserve ecologically many of the seas, the Gulf of Mexico, and part of the Caribbean is to create environments where more fish will be attracted, create environments where some of the bottom areas of uh, coral reefs, for example, will come back to life. Now, wouldn't it be interesting if we can do that through the burials of cremated remains of human beings? Believe it or not, that's what this story is about. One of our best on our staff, Alicia, decided she wanted us to put this story together, and here, for her sake, we present it. Let's go out there and guys, let's make a new, a new reef out there. Once again, welcome aboard, guys. It's my husband. Um, he passed away in November of 2008, and he loved fishing. And, and when I found this online, I knew this was perfect for him. Had said he wanted to be in the ocean. This is the memorial reef for John Joseph Seville Jr. This is the reef there for my dad. And I made a fork because he loved making forks. So. This would have been perfect. He would have loved it. Absolutely. Each uh, family has a memorial reef out there that's already cast, has the plaque on it. Just cap that off. What we'll do today is put a little bit of concrete. We'll take, take the molds and buckets, then we'll add a little bit of remains. And then once I'm done with that, you can start putting shells. Reef balls, we developed that in the early 90s. We were scuba divers, and we wanted to do something to help save the reef. Around 98, my father-in-law came over for dinner one night and said, you know, Don, I got a favor to ask you. When I pass away, I'm going to be cremated, and I want you to take my remains and put them in those artificial reefs you built. Mike was a uh, fossil hunter, diver, and, and down in Charleston, South Carolina. And so these are some megalodon teeth that he found in the river. And do your hand print for Uncle Mike. Can you do that? Now can you wash your hands? I couldn't think of anything else. He would never want to have a tombstone in a graveyard where someone would go to see him. He'd much rather look over the ocean and, and think of him. found out that she was terminally ill. We discovered the Eternal Reefs program, and we decided that it was the um, sort of thing that we all wanted to be involved in. We dashed by the store, grabbed eight bouquets of roses, or of uh, flowers, and um, decided to leave those flowers in the reef for the placement. And it just absolutely made it. It just, and the, the rising up then and floating more beautiful than I've ever seen. I love my wife very much, and um, I look forward to joining her someday in the same way. Um, we're placing Mike where he was happiest and most comfortable, and so I think it's the best tribute we can do for him. Anyone that knew him that I've told about this, they just instantly know this is exactly where he belongs. <laughs> That's what you would call a legacy, right?